Two things authentic people do and how you can be your true self. In this tutorial, I will show you two things that people who live their authentic selves do. You will learn how you can also be aligned with your true self. In this world where social media often encourages an image of imperfection, it can be challenging to be your true self or at least show yourself to the world. While those who live an authentic life tend to be happier and have more success in life, it is by far more difficult to do than it seems. The following two recommendations will help you live a life where you can be your true self. The first suggestion is the following. Learn to accept yourself. It is something that we often hear, but what does it mean in practical ways? Accepting yourself is being able to look at yourself in the mirror and see who you truly are. Your true self is simply the self that is not trying to please others or being perfect. Your true self is the part of you that is enough and authentic. To accept yourself, you have to start by recognizing the good in you. List five things that you love about yourself. If you can't find five things, ask people who are close to you to list what they love about you. Once you've listed these five qualities of yourself, reflect upon them and dig deep into becoming comfortable accepting compliments about yourself. Now that you're starting to accept your qualities, try to make a list of two things you don't like about yourself. Explore these two things very deeply. Ask yourself, if those two things were in my best friend, would I still love that person for whom she or he is? If so, why is it so hard to accept those things in me? What if it was acceptable for me not to be perfect? How would life look? Choose to let go of the need to be perfect. Do you have to be perfect to be loved? What if loving yourself meant that it was merely accepting yourself for who you are, flaws and all? Learn to listen to yourself. One of the biggest mistakes we make growing up is losing a sense of self. We stop listening to ourselves and start paying attention to what others think of us. After years of trying to please others, we completely forget who we are and what we want. It is possible to come back to listening to yourself by starting to build boundaries. Boundaries mean that you place yourself as a priority to ensure that you don't lose yourself in relationships with others. That said, a boundary could be to say no when you don't feel like doing something. It could also be not to develop a relationship with individuals who seem to want to change you or always require you to do something for them. By distancing yourself from people who continuously require that you feed their ego, you are slowly making space for yourself and allowing more energy to be spent for your own needs. Once you've created that space, it will be easier to understand your needs and listen to what you want in life. Listening to yourself can be difficult at first because we don't always know what we want or what we need. A great way to approach it is to seek what you see in your external world. For example, if you feel like you need attention from others, it could mean that you simply need to give yourself more attention. On the other hand, if you get annoyed by people who don't meet your expectations, it could be a sign that you feel you're not meeting your own expectations. Debbie Ford once said, the world mirrors yourself back to you. If you love, nourish, and appreciate yourself internally, it will show up in your external life. If you want more love, give more love to yourself. If you want acceptance, accept yourself. It is now time for you to not only accept yourself for who you are, but also start listening to your needs and take ownership to nourish them. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.